what do we do to go from three-fourths to nine-fourths in this table? Math teaching involves a lot of instruction and making sense of new ideas. It also involves students practicing skills. With technology, students can get immediate feedback as they're working, and teachers can get data to help make decisions. Assessments is an online tool that allows teachers to choose their assignments, assign them to their students very efficiently through their learner management systems, and then it allows students to work on the problem, but then get immediate feedback when they're done. That first year I saw the results, just kind of like instantly, like kids who use it, they were, they were less fearful of math. They started answering questions more in class. And more importantly, they started asking more questions when they didn't get something, hands that I didn't see go up before. And then that way we start having more dialogue between different groups of students so that it's a robust conversation. It's not just myself and two students, it's myself and 22 students because the entire class. I use the assessments tools daily through my high rated curriculum. So luckily assessments post the curriculum that we use at my school and it has everything from the assessments, the cool downs, the actual lesson activities in there. And so I would use it daily with my cool downs. So at the end of every single class, the students would be asked to do something very short to show me whether they understood the lesson that day. And assessments was great because it would correct a lot of the work for me and give the kids immediate feedback. So they immediately knew themselves if they got it correct, they'd have to wait for me to correct it that night and give it back to them the next day. The impact I've seen on my students is they're actually excited to see the data every day. You know, if, if they walk in and I don't have a graph up because they didn't do a problem the day before, they're kind of bummed about it. They really like seeing that data every day and seeing how we did. And it just helps me as a teacher know um, kind of what I can move on, when I need to, you know, reteach something. Um, and I think it just, they just like to see it. Assistance does kind of feel like a clone of myself because practice makes permanent and perfect practice makes perfect. So I would not want someone to pour a lot of time into one thing only to find out that it's been done wrong the entire worksheet. That feels like a waste of time to the student and it's really discouraging when they can go back um, or just be stopped in real time in that moment saying, hey, this isn't quite right. Assistance is gonna stop them, help them find their problem, get back on track, and continue forward in a way that doesn't waste their time and it doesn't solidify the misconceptions that they might have. It's not too flashy and over the top and it doesn't give students the feel or the urge to rush through something or do something impulsively. It's simply delivering the problems to the students in a way that helps them keep focus and it's been the easiest thing to kind of merge right into our classroom. I really love that assessments has the ability to grade automatically there's so many things that teachers have to do in the day to day. And so just that little bit of this is already graded is really nice feature to have. It saves me just a few seconds, but those few seconds are very valuable. The mission of the platform is twofold, conduct research while at the same time helping hundreds of thousands of students get feedback right away. In 2016, I was really pleased to be invited to actually see SRI actually complete a a large-scale randomized control trial on assessments. SRI reported that the assessments intervention reliably changed teacher practices. They went over homework uh, differently. It increased the math scores. And third, started to close achievement gaps. That study was done in the state of Maine. West Ed said, do you want to check and see if that result will replicate, but in a state that is more representative of our nation? So they chose to do that in North Carolina, and we participated in that study. And once again, it reliably changed uh, teacher practices, increased state's test scores, and most importantly to us, it started to close the achievement gaps. We want to continue to do our two goals, which is figure out good science around improving mathematics instruction and support, while at the same time, making sure we are impacting the world and helping lots more students be able to actually learn their mathematics. The future of, of instruction is going to involve technology, but it's going to be technology that enhances the human interaction between teachers and students, and between students and students. And assistance was designed to do exactly that.